Hi, Martha Mix Maker Minute is back with painted terracotta pots. These pots I've made, they're all made with the same repetitive technique. This one is really old. I've had this for like 20 years and it's been out of my deck. Simple tools, little things you cut out of erasers. My favorite is the pencil. My second favorite is the chopstick. Now I'm using a sponge. I save all my old sponges and this is acrylic paint. I like to use a dabbing motion. You may want to wear gloves. Um, my hands are beyond hope, so I don't bother. Uh, just dab, 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 and oh, if you have a little mistake, just use the other side of the sponge that's damp. You can wipe it right off. Just keep on dabbing, keep on applying. You're creating texture here, layering different colors for a rich and complex look. Now the top here, I'm going to use some gold mixed with red. I like to do the inside of the pots too and a little gold on top for some embellishment. Now you'll notice I use very little paint. This is a less is more technique, definitely. You don't want to schmear, believe me. Don't be afraid to try this technique. You got pots laying around, make them a little more beautiful than they already are. Here I'm trying to have it even, my little dots even, so I put one down, then I look and find its opposite side, 180 degrees, then uh, 90 degrees, and they come out pretty even that way. The next uh, pot that I'm going to work on, this is one I did in advance. I'm going to show you how I use my sponge as a stamp pad. So I have my little eraser stamp, and I'm just pushing down. I have to kind of rock it because the pot is curved. Now, I don't care if they come out even. Here's my favorite tool, the eraser. Makes a great little circle, easy to do. And now my second favorite is the chopstick. So you see what I've done here? I'm making uh, the design, it's a repeating design that goes around the rim, and it has contrast, the red, the white, Here's another one that I'm doing. Watch what happens when I just use the tip of the pencil. Look how that pops out. Now, don't forget to sign and date your pots because you will have them for a long time if you don't drop them. Now, remember to enjoy the process. It's all about the process. You will relax. You will have fun. You'll have beautiful pots. Thank you.